job, lads. I'm Robert Winston. What I'm going to do with you is to teach you, I think, or try and perhaps learn with you some of what I think are the wonders of, of science. Now, what I want to show you, above all, that science isn't only not difficult, but it's also extremely interesting. But I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to get you to do some quite interesting things, some of which you may find um, really um, rather surprising over the next six weeks. Um, I think the key thing that I want to do with you is to explain to you really how our bodies work um, and show you why biology is, in my view, one of the most important things to learn and to understand. Now, the first thing to do is for all of us to get a white lab coat on, if you would. You're amazing. Yeah, well, I can't believe you're here. Yeah. When I was at school, I went to a school which was incredibly ancient. It was, when I was at school, it was 450 years old. And we had a 450th anniversary, and the Queen came round the school with Prince Philip. So I was about your age, and I was in the biology form, and the Queen came round, and each of us was given an animal to dissect, to show, to, to, to show, to show the queen. And so the best, the best boy in the class had uh, a mouse, uh, and somebody else had a rat, and then somebody else had, um, somebody else had um, a dogfish, and somebody else had a frog, somebody had a spider, somebody had, uh, somebody had a cockroach, um, and finally, the Queen came to me because basically the people who were best at biology were at the top of the form dissecting uh, a rat. I was at the bottom of the form and I was really annoyed at being given the animal that I had to dissect. So when the Queen came up to me and said, oh, what is that? I stood up and I said, it's a worm, Your Majesty. And she said, oh, and she walked on. And for 30 years, that were the only words the Queen ever spoke to me. I mean, I've since spoken to her, but she, all she said was, oh, in disgust. So I'm going to challenge you first. No, I'm not going to give you worms to dissect. Too, too difficult. But, I'm, but, but, Craig, but Craig is going to bring out something for you to look at. Sorry? I'm happy to <laughs> yes. yes. What I want to do during this lesson is to do something which you probably never thought that you'd be able to do. Some of you know that I'm a medically qualified doctor as well as a scientist. Uh, I'm, I'm qualified as a surgeon. And at the end of this lesson, at the end of this lesson, by the end of this lesson, you, you will be doing effectively human surgery. That's, that's, that's the objective. Right. And Craig is going, to, is going to bring out your first patient. Outside the door, just to cover my back and Sir's back, just outside that door, there's two buckets and there's a bench. Can I just ask the biggest favour, because it takes a lot for people to stand up in front of the class as well. Can you just get up and, if it's an issue, and walk quietly. Don't make a scene or anything like that, because it causes a bigger problem. Is that okay, sir? Oh, I hope so. Can I have one? There's one for me. Natural causes. We're going to have a. We're going to look at the rat, and that's the thing that I want you to do. The rest I'm going to do. Hmm? All right. Okay. Well, you know, you you do what you feel you're comfortable. You know what, I'm going to try it. You try it. All right. What we're going to do? You've got a dissecting set of in, of surgical instruments in front of you. It's the set that I learnt with when I was at school. Some of, you will have a, some of you will have a rat 
that is a bit stiff yeah. and curled up. If it is, straighten out the body oh. like that, so, so that it's flat, OK? And then take the rat, and you've got a board with pins. All you need to do is, is to pin your rat out onto the cork board in front of you so that it's, so that it's stretched, OK? It's too fat, it's yeah. run on a treadmill. Don't um, pierce me. Shall I pierce it through his arm or something? Not bad. We'll, we'll adjust it a little bit. You've done very well, actually. Now, how you do this... It's, it, yeah, by all means, come and watch. That's a very good idea. These instruments that I'm using here are um, instruments that we use for very fine surgery on humans. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open the rat's tummy up, OK? What I want you to be aware of, first of all, is just looking at the animal. The first thing to notice from the outside is, can any of you tell whether this is a male or a female? A female. female. How do you know? Has it got, got, no got no bits. Well, in, in a mouse and a rat, it's not like looking at a human. It's very difficult to tell their sex by looking at the genitalia because they're very, very similar. But what you can see here is that it's got teats, all right, for feeding. So nipples. these nipples, these nipples here would be... <laughs> although, although the males would have nipples as well, because we have nipples, but they're not as pronounced in, yeah. in animals. Do, do you remember, these, these, are, these, these are mammals, yeah, OK? We're mammals. What distinguishes a mammal they breathe air, they from, breathe. from other from other animals. They, are, yeah. they, don't they, don't they give birth to live? They give birth to live infants. They breathe air. Okay. They so that's together. one. Well, uh, nearly all animals breathe air actually. Oh, well, Some animals yeah. have their babies but, and leave. But how, yeah, but how do they look after their babies in particular? <laughs> By um, feeding them. How do they breastfeeding? Breastfeeding. They give them milk. Yeah. Okay. Now mammals are unique in producing milk their young and so these nipples are one of the ways that you can tell the difference to a male and a female now opening the tummy what you've got to do is to lift the skin very clear all right and make certain that you don't puncture the organs underneath in particular what we don't want to do is to open the bowel because then we'll have an unpleasant smell all right if you lift up the skin like that what I'm going to do is make a little nick in the skin give him a tummy tuck <laughs> Caught, yeah, sort of. There we are. So now we've got, do you see, I've just got the skin there. And if I put my scissors underneath the skin like that, all right, and then open them up. OK, got the idea? This, now, let me tell you that this is what we do when we're operating on humans. It's exactly the same. You lift up our fur. We, well, <laughs> we lift up our fur. <laughs> Clever clogs. <laughs> all right, so then once you've lifted up the skin like that, it's very easy to make a straight incision. Now, can you? There's, there's one structure here that every surgeon likes to see, and it's this white line that goes down the centre, which we have in our. If we stripped off our skin, we would see this white line in our abdomen too. It's called the midline, okay? That white line, and that's that's your dotted line down which we're going to cut. It. About two months ago, I did this with a class of biology teachers, and you're doing better than they did, all right? Yeah, you're doing fantastically well. Really great to see how well you're doing. You've got the, you know, we'll make surgeons out of you. Now, the key structure that we've identified, I think you've all seen it on your rat, is the white line, the midline, okay? We're going to incise just the white line. We're going to go through the abdominal muscle and a thin membrane, which we all have, which is protected, protective, and it's called... Does anybody know? What one? Tummy. What did you say? Yeah. Has did anybody you... heard of peritonitis? No. Appendicitis. Who's, who's had appendicitis here? Appendicitis, yeah. no. Right? Who's had your appendix out? Oh, yeah. 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 My mum's well, yeah. appendix burst. Well, 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 burst. well nearly burst. The lining, the lining of, the, of the inside of the tummy, of the abdomen, is called peritoneum, OK? and we're going to cut through that. And it's a very, very thin membrane, which we only want to cut with 
the muscle, just that and the muscle. So you're going to stick your scissors in to the white line. Notice I've made an incision which has not damaged the structures underneath, so you want to be really delicate and careful. All right. Now, that, that is the most crucial thing we're going to do today. All I want you to do is to make that incision. Notice that what I've done is to be extremely careful not to damage the bowel. Hey, let me, let me just ask you. Um, let's just do some pointing. Tell me where your liver is. How many livers have you got? Two. One. 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 Two. Two. One. Two. One liver. Is it essential? Is it essential for life? No. Yeah. 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 The liver is absolutely essential for life. All right. You cannot live without your liver. It, it's a cleaner. Yeah. It cleans your blood. It does a whole range of functions, which we'll talk about later on. Now, the liver is not in your back and your sides or your chest, the liver, in it's the same, that's the point about the mouse and the rat being the human, it's very, very similar to the human, the liver is this structure here. What's that thing That red thing is the liver, okay? Do you think you can do that for me, okay? Go on, okay, off you go. Now, just remember, pick the abdominal wall up, as that midline, grasp the midline as high as you can, yeah, of course I will. Now cut along the dotted line, keeping the points of the scissors up. You're doing terrifically. If you lift that well up, and then lift the points up like that, and cut, right? Go on, you can cut. What just came out? Hmm? Keep the points well up. Is that right? It's really good. Right, come, come around the table and I'll show you the next stage of the operation. The, the organ that's most impressive and biggest and is this liver, see? That's a liver. That's the liver. Underneath the liver is the stomach, all right? And that stomach will be full. And connecting the stomach to the gullet or the esophagus is underneath the liver. We won't touch, touch that. And then we have the intestines. So here we've got the cecum and the appendix. It's like yeah, but this is this is the digestive system. Now, you girls, how many how many wombs have you got? One. All all humans. I was in one before. All all apes have a single uterus, but, but the one of the differences between us and the mouse and the rat and nearly all other mammals is that mammals, apart from humans and apes, have two uteruses, have two wombs, and here they are. And this is, this is the womb here. Why did they have two? Well, you know, because they have lots of babies. I want you to look, I want you to look at the uterus, and in particular, because we're going to deal with this later on, we're going to deal... You've, 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 you've heard of the test tube baby technique, haven't you? Yeah. 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 I heard of it, not well, how do you do it. No, well, we're going to do it in the laboratory. Listen, at the top of the uterus, on either side, is this structure. Now, who knows what that structure is? Um, umbilical cord. No. Uh, the ovaries. How can you say at the bottom of it? The ovaries. Oh, Danielle is right, OK? The ovary is this little white structure here. And these... <laughs> and, and these little red spots... Oh, exactly where she's ovulated from. Go on then, go and dissect the uterus. Excess skin. It's all wet, stinky. Which bit? Which do I use? Pitch it, but make sure it's just skin. Cut a little hole in it, yeah? And then cut straight up. That's it. We've done it. Well done. Now, if you can wash your hands, have a quick break. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Unveil. The reason why I was interested in showing you a pig is because the pig 
is very, very similar to the human inside. But we are going to do some of the dissection to look at the insides to see what, how close it is to a human. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's the midline. Is that the line that we said in the rat? It's just the same as in the rat. Can we come round the table? Guys, why don't you gather round and put some goggles on? And those of you that want to touch can do so. You know, we said we talked about the length of the bowel. What structure do you think that is? No, it's the bladder. That's the heart. Really? Right, it's the bladder. And here is the uterus. We all get that intestine. It's got a little bit of lumping out there. But you're not even holding your nose, What's you're not that? even flinching, you're What's just that? good doing it. What's that? That's what we're going to discuss. Oh, what's what? What do you think it is? The I want them poor the ribs after. I'm I'm dead dead eyes. Eyes. You're dead right. Am I? Good girl. Well, you Did you say long first? Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, you're wrong. Right. OK. Sorry, well, don't and what's this up. then? That's an I leave it thick alone. What is that? Let me see. We're both That's the heart. That is the heart. Great. Where is it? Oh, it's massive. Mm. Yep, it is massive. I to the name. Right, here we are. Have the heart out. Who's going to hold the hat? Oh, me, oh, me, 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 the vena cava, which is the big vein which enters the heart. Can I hold it for a minute? I'll push it up so tick Come on. stiff. Come on. Uh, what, I, what I want to tell you is um, going to be quite challenging now. Um, and I want to ask your permission for something. But it only applies to the blokes, not the girls, all right? Oh, what we're going to do next time, <laughs> which is, <laughs> which is, <laughs> which is <laughs> Thursday week, <laughs> we're, we're, go, we're, going to, we're going to start off with a friend of mine um, a, man called, a, man, a man called Kevin Lindsay, who's one of the world's expert on sperm. All right? Now, now, if I do this, will you do it? I'm going to bring some of my sperm in to look at down the microscope. And any of you... I'll do that. Give me a glass. I'm going to call it. Give me 20 minutes. So what I want is a few volunteers to consider producing some, yes, sir, some, some, some sperm for, for, the for the next biology lesson. And we will look down the microscope. But you understand, one of the things that's necessary, because you know, we, we have to obey the rules, we will need to get parent, parents' approval. So we're going to give you a... You want my mum to sign a form saying, we want to take some of Connor's sperm. My mum's going to be like, what? Connor, Connor I know that you're managed. <laughs>